Did you hear the one about the guy searching for a needle in a haystack? He wasn't wearing a glove rated to protect against hypodermic needles and was at serious risk for contracting hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV. Believe it or not, until this year, the only tests that existed for puncture threats focused on blunt force objects. In other words, the test measured the force needed to puncture a glove's material using a needle the size of a ballpoint pen. While this test was great for people working in industries like glass manufacturing or lumber, places where the risk of broken glass and wood slivers are a constant hazard. The test didn't take into account threats from medical needles, which is a serious danger in industries like waste management, law enforcement, and healthcare. That's where the ASTM F2878 standard comes in. The test still determines the force needed to puncture a glove's material, but it uses a 25 gauge probe. That's the size of a hypodermic needle. Now, I know what you're thinking. But video announcer guy, why would you test a glove designed to resist blunt force puncture with a really thin needle? It would never work. And you're right, it wouldn't. The mad scientist at Superior Glove had to create a totally new type of glove. One that provided more protection where those workers needed it most. That's how our punk band series began. By weaving layers of Kevlar, Superior Glove developed a material that offered amazing needle puncture resistance while being more flexible than the competitors who use epoxy plates or steel mesh. So next time you're in a sticky situation, choose a glove made with punk band, the material that's tough as nails while protecting against them.